Right guys, welcome back to Conwee Golf Club in North Wales. Uh, hopefully you tuned into the first six holes of this absolutely magical golf course. If you haven't, the link for that video is in the description below. We're now on hole seven. We're going to play through from seven to twelve, so the next six holes, show you what it's all about here at Conwee. And as we make our way around, we're going to chat about some other options which you can pair up with this amazing golf course to build a North Wales golf tour, a custom golf holiday just for you up in the north side of this amazing country. Right guys, having gone through the first six holes in three over par, we arrived on the seventh tee at Conwy. So far I've been driving it fairly well on the day, uh, missed a few with some slight pulls to the left, but getting away with them thus far. Uh, the seventh is a gorgeous hole which tracks the coastline towards a little kidney shaped green, which is actually a pretty small target. Uh, luckily I got a decent drive away and hit an eight iron straight over the top of the pin to leave a makeable birdie putt to kick off part two. Right, nice little four to start part two off. How cute was that little kidney shaped green, by the way, up in the corner of the course up there with the sea just lurking in the background. Absolutely spectacular. The, uh, the course here at Conway continues to impress. This is shaping up to be one of my favorites if it carries on anything like this. So whereabouts am I? As I said, North Wales. And if you put that into perspective for golfers in the UK, it's within easy reach. I Googled, I'm driving back to London later this evening. Unfortunately, I don't have any more time here in Wales after Conway's done. It's going to take me, traffic permitting, four and a half hours to get back to my house in London. So that's like southern England, like obviously not quite far down as south as people like Coach and Marco down in Exeter and Devon. But even they could justify the six to seven hour drive up to this part of Wales if they were going to stay for three, four, five days and tick off the amount of amazing golf courses that are in this region. And similarly, people in the north of England, Liverpool, Manchester, they're just down the road, really. Um, so kind of anywhere, maybe barring like I said in the video the other day, Land's End to John O'Groats type, type extremities. North Wales is worth the drive anywhere from in the UK if you stay long enough and if you plan to play enough of its amazing golf courses. So accessibility is a massive plus point, just like it was on the south coast of Wales too. Right, I've got one six seven into a slight breeze. There was really hardly anything up there today. Um, again, it looks much further than it is because of that little pin, which is kind of throwing me a little bit. Um, that is six, I've changed down to a seven, coming out of semi, this might roll a bit. Let's see if those short little pins are gonna fox me again, because it's tough to get used to. This does look mild, and I've just zapped it, and it's not, it's, it's a tricky little game. Oh, will be the one, be up, straight at it, get up. Yeah, just snuck on the front edge. This left pin looks about 18, 20 feet. First par five on the card here at Conway on the ninth hole, which is a little bit unusual. So I just checked the card um, and there are three in quick succession on the back nine. So it is a par 72. I was wondering, so as I said in part one, they do hold quite a lot of pretty prestigious events at this golf course. So only the one par five on the front nine was a bit of a surprise, but good to see there are four in total. Uh, some scoring opportunities coming up. Not sure about this one though, because the green is tucked up in amongst some pretty furry looking dunes. And there's two bunkers, which are quite far short of the green, but they're messing with my depth perception. Luckily enough, I've got my range finder, but it does look like the kind of par five where I'll be better served, maybe laying up and being boring and trying to get on in three and two putt and get out with five. Right, I'm gonna do it guys. I'm gonna be mega, mega boring. Um, just after those bunkers that starts a bit semi rough and I just don't see much value in me trying to hit. 
either a massive two iron or a small ish three wood downwind 244 so i'm just going to chop a nine iron down there hopefully come short of those bunkers and uh, leave myself a fairly short third in i know this is boring i apologize in advance i'll probably top it now just for your entertainment or hit it miles right and absolutely nowhere. That was shocking. Right, let's face it, I got what I deserved there. That was cowardly. And the resulting shot was absolutely shocking. I have no lie, this is thick, thick stuff here. I've got 140 left. I'm not sure I can get it there. So aim at the left side of the green and hammer it, basically. Ah, bounce right. Yeah, it's not pretty, but it's not horrendous. Right, making an absolute dog's dinner out of this one, people. Thin through the back into yet more rough. Chip back down the green. Oh, dearie me. shameful double bogey there just because I chickened out of hitting a shot that let's face it I definitely could have hit and having been up here to the green now the rough surrounding the green isn't really that bad it's not as bad as the rough I flailed that stupid little nine iron into anyway but anyway let's forget that so I've actually visited this part of North Wales before um, on a very very different type of filming trip mm, guessing three or four years ago now we came up with an actual videographer and another York, York Golf Travel employee, Tom Warden. Tom, if you're watching, hello, hope you're doing all right, mate. And we were basically taking like sexy, arty, farty shots, not really playing the golf courses, just really showcasing it in a very magazine style to you guys. So I came to Conwy and I played one hole uh, and as was the way at a lot of other of the top, top golf courses in North Wales. So it's great to be able to come back and enjoy a full round here. And I guess the obvious choice for a golf course that you should pair with Conwy, if you can, uh, on a North Wales golf tour. And this is a funny one. It's probably similar to the Royal County Down, Royal Port Rush argument. I would imagine there's a lot of people in Wales who bicker about what's better, Royal Porth Call down south or Royal St. David's up here. Um, I played a few holes at Royal St. David's last time we were up, maybe five or six holes. It's absolutely spectacular. I can totally see where the comparison in terms of quality comes from. And it's certainly a course that if you've got the budget for it, you should definitely be chucking that into North Wales Golf Tour. But 10th hole, par five, as said, they all come thick and fast here at Conwy. Um, I'm gonna whack a driver down there, carry on with the round. We've got three more holes on this uh, part two of the course vlog. And I'll chat about some other golf courses that you might wanna chuck into the mix. All of which are absolutely stunning, by the way. So keep your eyes peeled and let's, uh, let's crack on with this attempt at recovering from that double bogey. Oh, oh dear. Right, two, six, seven in for my third now. Um, like with most classic link courses, those pot bunkers off the fairway are basically a one-shot penalty. Um, I suppose technically being the modern rules after the 2019 changes, I could have actually dropped that for a, for a penalty shot, but good way to keep the old uh, lob shot skills intact, trying to get out of those things. So I've got, still got like 265, I think. And I just don't feel comfortable hitting three wood off the deck at the moment. So I reckon if I pump one of these stinging two irons and it doesn't hit any more bunkers, it might chase pretty close. Let's find out. Can't hit that better. Get left a bit. Yeah, it's fine. Just chasing down the right hand side of the fairway. Right, so again, I must have just got a kick to the right because it was definitely fairway bound. I thought it was actually going to end up in that pot bunker potentially, but in the juicy stuff, uh, which makes this shot a hell of a lot more difficult. I'd be surprised if I stopped this short of the pin. That's actually pretty good. That is, yeah, I said not stopping short, but happy with that. 
just had a nice little hello from the other fairway. Whoever you are, my eyesight's not that good, but thanks for watching, bruh. Right, the next obvious course to keep an eye out for if you're coming up to North Wales, and this might be, and this is a big claim, but it might well be the most picturesque golf course in the UK. There are a lot, but this one is absolutely spectacular. You may have heard of it before. It's called Neffin and District Golf Club. And it has, I think, three loops of nine, and one of them isn't always open. It depends on what time of the year and the weather and whatnot. Uh, but if it is open, there's a peninsula that goes out and back, and the holes there, you're just playing along the cliff's edge. It's kind of like Wales' version of Pebble Beach, let's say. It's unbelievably spectacular, a hugely fun experience. When I went there on that filming tour I was just mentioning, the weather was bonkers. Luckily, the holes were open, so we got to go and see them. The wind was so strong, I could barely stand up. It can be rough, it can be brutal, but if you want to experience something out of the norm and unbelievably breathtakingly beautiful, Neffenin District is a must. And here's a local tip for Neffenin District as well. After the 15th hole, I think it is, you can go down into one of the coolest halfway houses, if you want to call it that being the 15th hole, on the planet. It's called the Tycock Inn. You go down a few steps, down to a beach in this unbelievably spectacular cove, have a decent bit of food. The food was fantastic. I think I had chilli con carne. Warmed me right up, pint of beer, back out onto the golf course for your last three holes. An absolute must if you're visiting Neffin and District. Go in. Oi. Hiya. I recognise your face. You're your your travel, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, how are you? Same stuff, different hole. Spending a little bit too much time in this rough at the moment. Back to back doubles and in trouble again. Right, 146 left in still. Um, hey, I don't think you'll ever really find many days at Conwy with this, these conditions, so calm, so still. Um, like many classic Lynx courses, I think the main defense for this place is probably when the wind gets up, it can become very difficult. But it just goes to show that even on a day like today, if you do get into the wrong spots, you go far enough offline or hit, miss shots in the wrong places, it still has plenty of bite to it. And I've just had three holes in a row where I've just hit in the wrong spots completely. And it's just taking chunks out of it at the moment after playing some decent golf in part one and at the start of this part. All right, nine on. Nine. More like it. Be on. Yep, putting, middle of the green. Right, so let's just take a very quick break from the action in part two here at Conway Golf Club and discuss some or lots of the other amazing golf courses situated within easy driving distance of this place that you might want to package up with on a North Wales golf tour. With the Snowdonia National Park serving as a pretty epic backdrop, you could argue that the rugged North Wales coastline is home to the most picturesque collection of Lynx courses in the whole of the UK. If you're a sucker for scenery, this is a corner of Wales you simply have to visit, but it's not just bells and whistles up here. The golf courses themselves are superb, and when compared to the equivalent layouts in England, Scotland, and Ireland, there is some outrageous value for money to be had in North Wales. I could go on at length about lots of the golf courses up here, but in the interest of keeping things short and sweet, courses that you guys should be looking out for to pair up with others already featured in this video such as Conwy where I'm playing today, Royal St David's and Neffin include James Braid's Port Maddog, Harry Varden's Abersock, North Wales Golf Club, Prestatyn, Abba Dovey, lots and lots of amazing courses in this region, all of which take pride of place on some of the most spectacular Lynx land you'll find anywhere in the world. Just like the south coast of Wales, from my experience, North Wales, you could argue it's criminally underrated when it comes to golf. And that really is a crying shame, because as you can see from this video, 
it packs a serious punch both on and off the golf course. Right guys, final hole of part two here at Conwy. Um, another par five, they do come thick and fast, as I said, on the back nine. Uh, I think we've had three since making the turn and this one is runway o'clock. If you don't hit straight drives, <laughs> uh, hello, um, this one might not be for you. It is arrow straight. So a good tee shot needed. I've not hit a fairway in a while. Having started off pretty hot with the driver, they're starting to go a bit right rather than left. Maybe an overcorrection has occurred. And there's another one. Should be okay. No. No, straight into a gorse bush. Death by gorse. Right, we'll call this a provisional, but I'm pretty sure I saw that fly straight into a bush. The big scores are piling up. That one should be fine. Well short there with an attempted stinger which I caught really high on the face. So a bit of a chunky one. Um, it was from 240. I could probably have got there with a real rip. Uh, it could be the amount of run you get on these links courses, but fifth shot now. Um, looking like at least another double on a par five. They have absolutely torched me. A little bump and run with a nine. That's actually a really nice shot for once on par five, so about six feet. Yep, that'll be another seven on a par five. Oh my goodness. Only at a course as beautiful as Conwy could I stomach this sort of treatment. Right guys, that's it for part two here at Conwy. Final six holes left to go in part three, where I will be giving you my thoughts on this golf course alone, a little bit more of the history behind it, and why you should be coming to play this absolute magic golf course. Um, I would recommend it right now. I've only played 12 holes, but I'm sure the last six will be epic as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope I've given you a little bit of a decent scope as to what's on offer up here in North Wales. If you want to put together your own bespoke package up here, make sure you touch base with us at Your Golf Travel. Got any questions about any of the courses I mentioned, whack them down there in the comments section or email me at raymondo at yourgolftravel.com. Call the call center, get in touch on social media. You know how it all works by now. So to end the video, if I had to pick three courses out of the ones I've mentioned in this video, in part two at Conwy, gun to my head. Ooh, I don't know, I might have to go for the prestige package. You know, I would definitely come back and play Conwy. Again, I haven't even played the last six holes, but already this is one of my favorites in the area. And then I would have to say Royal St. David's. That would be a bit of a treat. Obviously that's up at the top end of the price point uh, spectrum. Third course, it's very difficult to choose between places like Abu Dhabi, North Wales Golf Club, and lots of others, um, Port Maddog, I'm probably saying lots of these wrong, by the way, so I apologize to any Welsh viewers <laughs> in advance. But if you had to pick a third, and I had a gun to my head, like I said, I would probably go for Neffenin District, just for the wow factor, just for something a little bit out of the ordinary. I'd be taking pictures all day long, and the trip down to the Tycock Inn is honestly one of the more memorable things you'll ever do on a golf course. Um, it's kind of like going to the Jigger Inn at St Andrews, that sort of thing. It's a really special treat. So those three courses would be my North Wales tour if I was going to pick one for myself. But obviously, like I said, price points to suit all budgets. So get in touch, give us an idea of how much you want to spend and let's get you playing golf on some of these amazing courses in North Wales.